Morning, Dave. Morning. Are you ready for your uh, yes, I'm, workshop I'm ready today? For my, my next activity. No, that's good. I'm busy this week, haven't I? Yes, you, you, we're keeping you very busy. Yes, even though I'm not working at the moment. No, no. But, you know, when you're at home, you'd still be working. Yeah, I'm sure I would be. Yes. yes. Well, you will be, because you're going to be making a rainbow jar today. Oh, that sounds exciting. Well, say it like you mean it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That yeah, does yeah, sound yeah. Very, very exciting. That's better. Yes. Oh, yes. I'm... <laughs> Raring to go and make a, a rainbow jar. Okay. But before we start making the rainbow jar, I'm going to give you a quick whiz round the things that you will need and also a little bit about how we measured out um, the quantities. Okay, so here we go. So for today's session, you will need a jar. Now, this is quite a small jar. Um, because we're going to be filling it with salt. Um, salt is the main ingredient. We also have some chalk. You will need a spoon. And as you can see, I've got a spare yogurt pot there. Um, if you haven't got a jar, you can use a yogurt pot like this, a clear one, um, to put all your colours in. So before we begin, I'll show you how I worked out. That is the exact amount of salt that I will need. So basically what I did was I filled the jar with salt and then worked out I would need a teaspoon <coughs> excuse me of chalk of salt for each colour. So there's seven colours in a rainbow. That's red, yellow, orange, pink, green, blue, and purple. Um, so I spooned out how many spoons of salt there were in that jar, and there was 21 teaspoons. So 21 teaspoons divided by three, uh, seven is three. So for each color, we will use three teaspoons of salt. So now I'm going to show you how to make your colours. This is um, one of our most popular workshops because it's really easy and you can create your own colours too. But today we're going to make the rainbow. So I've got a bit of paper um, on the table that you need to make your colours. So, if we're going to do a rainbow, shall we start with red? So, there's the red. So, to take your red chalk, okay, and I'm going to give you three teaspoons of salt. And then all you do is take your chalk. And you rub your chalk onto the salt. And that's all it is, is to make your colour. So with red, you can't mix that with anything. But say if you wanted orange, and you didn't have that colour, you would just mix a red and yellow, which would make orange. And purple would be blue and green, which we'll show you later. Now it's not going to be a real scarlet, but it's going to be a red. So stop when you've got the colour that you want. Okay. So then, if you can hold the camera, you take a piece of paper, whoops, and you make it into a tube, and that's your first colour. 
that you take into your jar. Okay. So the next colour is going to be yellow, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So again, measure out three teaspoons of salt. You take the yellow chalk mm -hmm. and I'll take the camera and Dave starts rubbing. Now if you haven't got all the chalks, if you have some pastels um, in an art kit or something like that, then you can use pastels as well. Um, they'll be a bit more work because they're a little bit wetter, but they really make nice colours, so you can do that. Okay, and then you tip that into your jar. And give it a little bit of a shake. There you go. So, I'm going to let you do this one all by your three, own three self. Three spoonfuls of salt. Three spoonfuls of salt. One. A proper spoonful, one. Dave. <laughs> three. That's it. And a bit. And a bit, up. yes. And what's the next colour? Uh, red, yellow purple isn't it okay there's a purple it's more of a lilac i think yeah. this one but yeah a bit of artistic license there right yeah, yes but what if you wanted to make it a bit more purple dave yes if you mix the blue and the green together so you do some blue and then put green on the top blue and green also make purple so it is a good idea to have a cloth on the table or the worktop when you do this um, because even though you've got paper there um, it is a bit messy but it is only salt so it does clear up quite easily and then put your green in you can see it's sort of making a purple mm. isn't it yes Now you can use the happiness colours for lots of different things. I think it's turned more green actually. Than so purple. if you go back to the lilac and see what you get with that. That's it. That's it. Well, it's getting there. <laughs> As I said, um, it's very popular, the happiness colours, because you can make all your own colours. And I will be coming back to these um, it, in uh, future demos. So, yeah, and if you tip that into your jar. give it a bit of a shake so I think what we're going to do is Dave is going to carry on making his rainbow 
of seven colors and um, pink. He obviously doesn't remember the song from yeah. school. <laughs> so go on, let's shall we have a go? Yeah. It's red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue. <laughs> I can sing a rainbow. Well, I can make a rainbow. Oh, you can make a rainbow. So Dave's going to carry on making his colours and we will be back with you shortly and show you the finished rainbow. So here he goes, putting his last layer of colour in. Let me give it a bit of a tap. And there is your rainbow. Just give me one more colour. You can put another colour in there mm. if you want. Um, if you use the remaining salt, and maybe you could, um, what colour would you like to do? Well, we've got another red. Yeah, okay. Just the like, red came up quite well, didn't it? The red did come out quite well. So use the remaining yeah. salt. Use the remaining salt, yeah, and then just a bit of red. is that red as well? That's, that's well it's an orangey so red. I'm doing red ready orange. Ready orange. So it's quite simple, it's quite therapeutic. A couple of things to note though, as it is salt and chalk, your hands will feel quite dry afterwards, so do wash your hands really well afterwards. Don't stick your fingers in it, don't taste it, and don't lick your fingers after you've finished. Just go and wash them. Now you see he's really got in the flow now making this colour. It's alright Dave, I'm not filming the face you're pulling. I think that's about it. I think that yeah. is about it. So That's about fill the jar, and that will fill the jar, yeah. So give it a gentle jiggle. Let's do a camera shot, and there you go. There is your rainbow jar made with happiness yeah, colours. That side, actually. Yeah. And we will be back again. So did you enjoy that? Yes. And was it nice and simple? Yeah. Yeah. It's all right, isn't it? It is. I think you're quite proud of that. Yeah. Where's the lid to it? There isn't one. No. So I will put a piece of um, cloth or a piece of cellophane over the top and secure it with an elastic band. So there you go. Now Dave's starting to clear up. <laughs> As it's dry, I would use a dustpan and brush just to sweep everything up and then give everything a good old wipe. And give your mat a shake as well. And give your mat a shake as well. See, he's very good. So that's it from us today. 
and we will be back tomorrow with another activity with another activity so say bye dave bye bye